Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. I'm Margo. And I'm Miller. You can find us everywhere where you would find like a normal podcast. A iTunes. Normal podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they have normal ones and sexy they ones. Do. They have them all. This is in the sexy iTunes department. You yeah. can find us anywhere. Just search Nerds Who Swing, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You can find us. Twitter everywhere? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're all the places. We are everywhere you want us to be. And you, well, I mean. <laughs> or we could be. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Email us at nerdswhoswing at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah. Email questions. Yeah. Comments. Send in pictures and you can be on our logo. That's right. Every episode we have a contest where you could be in the Nerds Who Swing logo. Go to our Instagram page and you can find all the past winners yeah. of every episode. They're not all me or no, you. You there are, are in some and I'm in some, but yeah. that was like the first couple episodes. Yeah. Now we have all of our sex- sexy listeners. It's so awesome. Giving us their pictures. It's, it's really, amazing. really good. Yeah. Now and then they're too sexy, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I sometimes like to put the words over the titties just so you don't see the nipples, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Keep sending in those nipples, ladies. Send us your nipples. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. Thanks for listening. People were like, "This is a fucking boring. Never do more." And we're like, "Guess what? No, we we've had another quiz." Yeah, you know, and people are like, "Awesome." <laughs> well, so many of these things, I feel like we're putting them out there for like not necessarily right now, like the long term things. Because we, st- I've had people contact us about the first quiz that we did. Oh, really? Like, like from the first time we year, did? like because we probably put that episode out like two years ago at least, right? Yeah, that's true. Like you get questions about. Yeah. You know, our first episode or second episode and stuff because people yeah. find it whenever. Yeah, when they find it. So that's how the internet works. Yeah, it's like it saves a history of yeah, things. Yeah, ugh. Um, that and people ask about the. Um, remember that necklace vibrator? I do. That I got you? I do. They ask about that one too. Which really? I Really? Yeah. Well, we're going to redo that quiz sometime soon. Yeah, we are. We're going to figure out... Uh, but not yet. Not tonight. We're going to do another What quiz. do we say? Not tonight. That's right. <laughs> not today. Not today. Pack it in. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do today, Margo? Well, we did the love languages quiz. Yeah. And now we're going to do... What is it called? <laughs> uh, it is a quiz that is called... Oh, erotic Blueprints. Right. Because it was recommended to us by a couple people. And we've never done it before. No. Yeah, we First were times. doing like a Zoom chat with people and they were they told yeah. us about it. So we were like, they said we that they check thought it, it was like interesting and sort of helpful. Right. So, so this is our it. this is our fourth challenge, I think. Sure. This is sex yeah. challenge number four. Okay. We want you to do this quiz just mm-hmm. like we're going to do. Do it. Do it hard. Do the quiz and then do each other. That's right. <laughs> In, Presumably whatever way the quiz says you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you think? They're I have no like, idea. There's just like, positions at okay, the end. <laughs> and then yeah, it's a, few, it's a series of steps that I'm supposed right. to follow at the end. Put this here, yeah. put oh. that there. Oh, wait a minute. Is that where that goes? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So it looks like this quiz has 22 questions. All right. And we'll go through the questions like we did on the last quiz. I hope people and don't find that boring. Yeah. If you find it boring, well, fuck you. <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> you find it boring. That was so just, harsh. I know. Skip ahead. Yeah, Go to the next true. episode. There's probably we, another one. We haven't had any reaction to the last time we did an episode no, that was a quiz yet. So we're filming these pretty close to filming. Filming. Yeah, again, Jeez. filming. I Wait, think I said what? that last time. I think you we're did recording too. these pretty close together. Mm-hmm. Do you have something on your boobs, Margo? You're I trying spilled to get off. Some water. Is your shirt in the way? You want to take it off? <laughs> no, it it actually did a good job of. I think it would of, actually echo better for water. us if you kind of had them out. Okay. For the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just hold the mic between them. Yeah, that's right. And move it vigorously. Well. Question maybe. one. Question one. <laughs> Go. Oh. Oh, wait. It's okay. Question the relationship status. There is a different way to use the erotic blueprint in different relationships. Oh. What is your relationship status? What a loaded question. Okay. The options are single. Or in a monogamous relationship. That was a Monogama. 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 That 
that's my favorite joke <laughs> you ever made. Uh, okay. Yes. Monogamous relationship. Yes. In an open relationship, polyamorous or other. So what would you classify us as there, Mario? I think we should say open. Probably out of these choices, like, well, we're not single. No. Uh, we're, we're not. We're mo- sort of somewhere between the those two, right? Yeah. Like open and. Yeah. Well, I, I just think there's different definitions yeah, to I open. Agree. So, so open, I, I think we're let's open. go with open. All right. Bam. Question two. Is that me? Yeah, you got to read it. All right, here we go. Gender can play a role in how you respond when receiving and giving in your erotic blueprint. How would you describe your gender? There's a whole bunch of options. I'm going to go ahead and pick my gender. Male. Boop. And I'm going to pick right. female. We'll see what happens. But there was trans and fluid. and Yeah, there's good. a lot of very, options. It's very yeah, inclusive it actually had list. Quite a few. That's, that's cool. It wasn't just A and B. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Male, female. That's yeah, it. There's moving no, on. Uh, well, for a long time. Oh, I know. That was the choice. It's but, very but, cool yeah. that there's I rem- many I had, other... Where I work, we had to have a conversation about that. Oh, really? Yeah, because we were upgrading the computer system, and they were like, before we just had option A and option, option B. Option B. But we've had people say they want option C. And Good. the computer system cannot handle option C. Well, make Should C. Should we build it in? <laughs> so. And probably D, E, F. That's, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. All right, number three. I'm most turned on when Ooh. I have plenty of time to indulge, feel comfortable and relax. I'm experiencing extreme variety from an intense sit- sensation, a tease of, uh, sorry, a tease of a kiss, deep emotional connection to pure, simple sexual pleasure. That is a long, like, <laughs> or C, both, D, neither. Plenty of time to time, indulge. Variety, both or neither. Jeez. Um, hmm. I will pick mine. I will pick mine too. All right. Okay. I'm most turned on when a lover's lips hover close to mine. I'm turned on by the anticipation and longing as I yearn to be kissed. Ooh. Yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching sex and seeing naked turned on bodies and then both or neither. All right, I'm going to do that one. Question five. I think, I feel like it's going to be similar. You think so? Well, the first line is the same. Oh, okay. I'm most turned on when I'm doing something I consider edgy, naughty, or taboo. I'm immersed in a beautiful environment with amazing fragrances, music, and sensual artistry. (laughs) (laughs) Fragrances. You Both said that's so or weird. neither. Uh, fragrances. Fragrances. That's how you said it. <laughs> it's like uh, French fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when you're immersed by French fries? Yeah. Hang on. That's question six. It just took a turn. Do you like French fries? Okay. I'm most turned on when I feel connected to the sacredness and spirituality of union with something greater than myself or sex is simple, easy and down to business. And then both or they seem to have the both or neither for almost every question so far. Yeah. I'm most turned on when I'm playing a game of surrender to, or in total control of a partner or I am eye gazing or breathing with a partner and our hearts feel open and connected with one or we are connected together. Both or neither. I don't know what a ga- hmm. game of surrender to is. I'm playing a game of surrender to, so you're just letting the partner do whatever, I guess, to you. Yeah. You like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. I'm most turned on when it's romantic. I'm being wooed or am wooing someone, and I feel special. Side or, note, that might be the first time I've seen the word wooing, wooing written out wooing, yeah. and actually written. It looks like Sims. It does. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just woohoo, but yeah. <laughs> it looks like Sims. Yeah. Um, okay. Or we just go for it. Direct genital touch is happening with certainty <laughs> and we are heading to oh, penetration. Say genital touch one more time. Direct genital oh, touch. Say it. Direct genital touch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then both. Yeah. Or neither. 
keep forgetting that both and neither is an option. I'm like, I have yeah. to pick one. <laughs> With genital touch or wooing. Yeah, you can't have you both. <laughs> Number nine. Mm. I'm most turned on when handcuffed. Handcuffs, ropes, blindfolds, or edge play toys are being used, or climax is guaranteed. Either my own way or we reach it together. Neither. I never want us reaching it together. Gross (laughs) and ooh. (laughs) Um, I'm most turned on when being teased for a long time, I get the space to yearn for sexual connection. Or there is touch all over my body and my insatiable appetite for creative erotic play is being fed and we're pushing the edges of how much pleasure I can stand. (laughs) It's pretty impossible to find my limits. That is a long sentence. That was one breath. There was no punctuation in that at all. <laughs> <laughs> and also, both or neither. Pardon? Both or neither. Yeah. As well. <laughs> it was long. It was Whew. very long. Number 11. I most turned on when sex feels never ending with many waves of change, creativity, and intensity. Or it's clear who is leading and who is submitting, who is in the role who is in what role during our hot interaction. I love clear power dynamics. Okay. All right. I'm most turned on when a lover's body is pressing against me and we're melting into each other. There is no space between us or many hands all over my body. Overwhelming in a good way. All right. When it comes to sexual interactions, I mostly crave the experience of transcendence, ecstasy, and full body awakening, or movie scene, romantic love, experiencing epic love affairs like Romeo and Juliet, dynamic, or dramatic scene, dynamic, dramatic scenes of love being fulfilled. Uh, (laughs) It says, think swans and swelling music as lovers embrace. Yeah. Swans? (laughs) I haven't thought a lot about Never swans. Never once in bed. Oh, you. I mean, I probably will swans. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, swan, honey. Swan, swan, I like, swan. <laughs> I like that you said, I haven't thought a lot about swans. I mean, yeah. like sometimes. Well, who doesn't think like a, a little bit about swan? a normal swan amount. Like, I'm always constantly afraid that they're going to come in and get me. <laughs> but like. Um, all right. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit of a... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to sexual interaction, I mostly crave... Full presence to the moment, my partner being fully present to my body, heart, and soul. Or being acknowledged, appreciated, and accepted for my high sex drive, desires, and need for sex. Both or neither. Um, interesting. Is it? Your turn. (laughs) Question 15. When it comes to sexual interaction, I mostly crave amazing touch, massage, and deep pleasure to my entire body. B, yep. total acceptance for what I think <laughs> no more options are my out of the box. <laughs> Sorry, go, go ahead. <laughs> total acceptance for what I think are my out of the box sexual desires. Number 16. When it comes to sexual interaction, I mostly crave endless timeless erotic sensations when i am fed in all ways when my hunger is seen as a superpower <laughs> instead of as overwhelming or too much or this is very different scratching slapping squeezing or holding slash being held down hmm those are very different compared sometimes the other things seem I'm mo- yeah well especially when it says mostly crave because i i think that there's times for probably like for all of those things mo you know what's most right like what's what what would you ideally want to happen sort of the majority of the time versus what's like an occasional right yeah It's, it's interesting yeah it is interesting when it comes to my sexuality i struggle with getting caught up in my head thinking too much or having performance anxiety or b Feeling shame or hiding my sexual desires that feel super naughty. Hmm. Then it has both or neither. When it comes to my sexuality, I struggle most with getting the amount of sexual intercourse and climaxes I want. 
or experiencing pleasure during a lot of physical sensation and speaking up when things aren't feeling right or I'm going numb. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, like emotionally, like mentally I, numb, like kind of like done. I guess so. Probably. Yeah. I would imagine speaking up when they're feeling. Yeah. Hmm. So when it comes to my, I struggle most with. I need with, to read it again. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm good too. Number 19, we're almost done. Oof. When it comes to my sexuality, I struggle most with my lover being too nice in the bedroom. I want to be taken. I want to play naughty. Oh boy. But fear being judged. I'm always on Sorry, nope. I'm always the one. Sh- shush. <laughs> I was like I'm, I'm always, always, always on the one top. shifting. Not true. Yeah, no, I'm always <laughs> on top doing all the work and not she does true. nothing. Super not true. I'm always <laughs> the one shifting in order to in order to please my partner, it seems like I don't know how to get my needs met. Number 20. When it comes to my sexuality, I struggle most with I'm bored. I need more <laughs> variety and things feel pretty stale or mediocre. Or I get close to orgasm and a thought comes in to disturb me. The things that need to be done. Am I doing it right? My partner isn't doing this right, mm. etc. Right. Question 21. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my sexuality, I struggle most with being rejected when it comes to my needs for sexual intercourse and my turn on. Or is that not what yours says? Yeah. Oh, okay. You gave me a look like. uh, I just find that sentence structured weirdly. Oh, yeah. Okay. (laughs) That's fair. You didn't write it. No, you gave me a look. No, I I looked at my phone like this and then you were watching. uh, Are we getting different questions at this point? No, No, okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. When it comes to my sexuality, I struggle most with being rejected when it comes to my need for sexual intercourse and my turn ons, or a lack of presence, sacredness, yes. and understanding that my se- that sex is more than just a physical act. Hmm. Hmm. Some of these are difficult as well because sex can be more than a physical act with some people and it can be only a physical act with some people. And I think we're both okay with both. Yeah. So sometimes I think it's... Right. You know, like our, our primary sexual relationship, if I answered it in that way versus if I answered it right. sort of more There's, in general. I'm sort of trying types. to answer it in general life, yeah. not specifically Specific, yeah. you and me. Me too. Because it they're slightly different, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, I, question 22 told me to put my name in and oh. an email address. <laughs> oh. So I think this is how we see our results. Okay. So One I'm going to go ahead. Or can I just hit complete? Okay, so we put our email addresses in, and it brought us to the results of the page. Yes. Um, so just looking through quickly, it looks like there are five areas that this can be in. If you scroll down, it says your score is, yeah. and then it says the five areas. Yeah. Um, do you want to go from bottom up about what they are? I always want to go bottom up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that setup. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, sure. All right, the top ten or top ten. No, nope. yeah, I'm ma- not making <laughs> up the top five more. number of ten. Yeah, <laughs> Inception number five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no top five. <laughs> okay, so what's your number five? Uh, what's your number five? What's your number five? Uh, you first. Oh, mine is kinky. That's your number five. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Fif- <clears throat> Fifteen. Point two nine percent. Fifteen point two nine percent. Yeah. All right. Well, there's I'm just five. Kidding. Like no, there's a hundred percent. Yes. Okay. That's how percentages well, let's work. go over. Maybe we should tell our readers, <laughs> our readers, listeners, how percentages no, but work. I just mean, if you divided it into five, they'd each have twenty, and this uh-huh. one has fifteen. So it's not like yeah, it's, it's not, not like the lower. variation yeah. is humongous. Well, my bottom one is energetic. Okay. 
Four well, percent. I mean, I apparently four? have no energy at all in this four? situation. <laughs> I just God. lay there and just it happens around me. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would not describe you that way at all. No, I don't think so either. But four. Four percent. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. What is your? Do you want me to do my number four now? Sure. Number four mm-hmm. on Miller's top five yeah, uh, yeah. of erotic blueprints. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number four is sensual. Okay. With 16%. 16. Yeah. Okay. Mine is energetic with 19. Whoa. It's so like 15, 19. Yeah. Mine are all like that. Oh, really? So you're like, a lot of tears are kind of I'm balanced everything. out. I'm everything. You're literally I'm all the, the worst stuff. possible. So yep. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep. I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your number three, then? Sexual. Wait, what was your number four? Energetic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> it, but but they're t- actually, they're the same. Oh, they're the same percentage? Yeah. They're listed in that order, but actually, yeah, the percent- percentage oh, okay. is the same. So, so you're kinky, number three. Energetic, sexual, but okay. also they're four percentage. Like, yeah. one is fifteen, the other two are nineteen. It's like oh, okay. they're not. Well, anyways, my number yeah. three is shapeshifter. Okay, twenty percent. Twenty. Yes. 20. So you're getting up there 20. now. Twenty. Twenty. Yes, exactly. Yours is very different. That's interesting. Yeah, like, it is interesting. Numbers wise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my number two is that what? Yes, we're on number two. <laughs> is is sensual with twenty three? Sensual. Okay. My 22 is sexual. Okay. And it's 22? 28. 28. Yeah. See, that's higher than any of mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Because sensual is 23, and I have shapeshifter at 24. Oh, like, so shapeshifter is your number and my one? My number one yeah. by not even a full percentage point. Oh, wow. My number one is kinky with 32. Really? Yeah, that's not... You know what? Like 32? When I did this quiz, I did this quiz first, just like... Before we even recorded the podcast, I did mm-hmm. it just like make sure this works. Just oh, answering okay. questions like I'm just reading it like off the top of my head, like sure, sure, yeah. sure. And yeah. I got kinky as the result. Like huh. this time, I actually thought about it when I went through, but Still when I did kinky. it before, I got kinky and I was like, "Well, that's weird." What's the number? Thirty-two. Wow. I don't. I don't know what it was before the first time. Huh. But uh, yeah. I mean, well, just reading through the shapeshifter thing, I think my results sort of speak for that i mean i have 24 well, yeah. 23 19 19 15 i was gonna like, guess when you told me on. all of yours were 20 and then i saw that like shape shapeshifter was That's a possible result what it is. i was yeah. like well you have to be right if everything is close to the, each other mm-hmm. yeah so what does it say like what your does it say your turn-ons mine says what turns you on um underneath my top five Oh, yeah. Okay. It says, as a shapeshifter type, you have insatiable appetites for erotic pleasure and are equally turned on by all four of the core erotic blueprint types. Energetic, sensual, kinky, and sexual, which is, that's right. basically, I mean, they were within yeah. a f- few percentage points, so that makes sense. Hmm. Um, well, it, it says, that, like... To reach your full erotic potential, you've got a lot to learn. I'm super excited to introduce you to what's <laughs> possible. So I assume it's right, like, right. hey, nine ninety five. Yeah. Get ready to get spammed by emails, probably. Right. But yeah, um, yeah. Learn your personal pleasure map and erotic language. Um, hmm, interesting. It says, as a shapeshifter, you may often shift to please your lover, but leave yourself neglected and wanting more. Oh. Learn how to train, train your lovers to give. <laughs> no, you I don't what think you we need. need that. I think we can <laughs> skip that. <laughs> That's interesting. It's interesting. I would you agree with your results? Like, if you're just looking at your top five, would you think that, like, if I told you just to put those in order without even answering the questions, do you think that would be the order you would put them in? Well, I mean, in a way, I feel like it's the easiest answer because then I get to be a little bit of everything. Right. Like, right? shapeshifter I get feels to like be, a cop out a little bit. That's right. In a it way. literally says you're equally turned on by all four groups. And I think that's kind of true. Mm-hmm. There are times where it's, I am more turned on by one thing than the other. Like, I, right. I'm not opposed to any of the, you know, I don't mm-hmm. have like 2% or something like that on any of them. Yeah. Because, 
And I, I do think that's true. I'm not sure about, I don't know. Um, I worry a little bit that it's sort of like, uh, almost like a lack of identity because mm. you're just all of the things. Right. And I wonder if that's sort of what, um, maybe a lot of people get their first time through the quiz or a lot of right. people get when they're like not in, I, I do feel if I'm in a certain mood and I took this, right. I maybe bet I could have one way any or the other. one of the other four yeah, as that's higher. True. And maybe that's just yeah. how I am. I do sort of like all of the stuff. Mm-hmm. I want to be at all of the places. <laughs> yeah. um, so maybe that's what it is. Right. But I, yeah, it, it does sound a little, a little bit like a, a cop out, which is kind of interesting. Um, interesting i think i'd like to like all of this stuff it's like exploring your sexuality and what you like and being more secure in that Mm -hmm. and i just wonder yeah i just wonder Hmm. i wonder if the shapeshifter for some people may and maybe me um is sort of like Right. You haven't sort of done the work or something almost yet yeah. because it's just so easy to say that you like all the stuff because then no one's pointing at you going like, you're right. 98% kinky <laughs> or you're 98% right, sensual or whatever. Or whatever. Is, yeah. You know, um, yeah. I don't have a problem with any one of those labels, I, right, right. which is exactly what this shows. So hmm. it's interesting. I'm yeah. not sure. It is interesting. All right. You, what about you? Do you think yours, what does yours say about your turn? Oh, list? sure. I'll read mine. As a kinky... As a kinky type, you're turned on by whatever is taboo, in quotes, for you. That could be sex out of missionary style, or it could be whips and chains. You may prefer psychological kink or sensational base kink, or maybe you love it all. (laughs) The love of kink is vast, and you're fed by creativity in your intimacy. I do like creative things in life. (laughs) Sure, yeah. I don't know if this this doesn't like we've been to kink night before. Doesn't feel and honestly, like I can like appreciate you. lots of it. And other than like like when we watched the rope thing, like mm. people would get tied up by rope, and like that was part of the one of the kinks that you could try out. Yeah. For me, I was just like, I want to get tied up because I think I could get out of that. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> feel like that's a sexual kink. That feels more of like <laughs> a, challenge. a challenge. Like I a could, Houdini I type. I could get out of that 100%. <laughs> yeah. Dislocate my shoulder. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't really feel like, I didn't feel turned on by any of those things. I was right. interested in, in watching them to see, to learn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's very cool that other people are turned on by those things. But for me, yeah, it don't... really didn't do that for me. No. So I was surprised when you I did the run through and tested this, I was surprised that I got kink. And now I'm even more surprised that I got it again. Like for reals. Because I really didn't feel like I was answering the questions like towards Kinkily? that. Yeah. Um, well, I, but I, but, but if you read that sentence again, mm-hmm. it says, what is taboo for you? Right. So like the BDSM stuff, the sort of like, there was that, um, shock like wand thing yeah. or whatever that's not you no you don't like any of that stuff no. which is totally fine mm-hmm. but i think that's maybe the maybe that's more the f- obvious right um definition of kink is like mm-hmm. is is more that style right. and i i don't think that that's really you no i agree. but at the same time being turned on by things that are taboo maybe in the moment or with that person or that way yeah. or that, that is that's quite true. you. Yeah. In, yeah, in that true. sense, I feel yeah. like mine might, that that's why mine isn't like, it's the, it's the bottom spot, I guess, but it's right. not because that's all the stuff mm-hmm. that I like too. Right. So it's hmm. interesting. It is interesting. When, what was your lowest energetic? Yeah, which is a strange category. What does that mean? I don't really know because they don't tell you what the categories are. Yeah, (laughs) just try a little. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They don't say what they are, so I don't know if I'd have to. I don't even know how how I would take this quiz to try to to get get energetic. energetic. I I definitely could tell some of the sensual. Yeah, sensual definitely stood out to Um, me, and a few of the kink ones 
sometimes I would pick where it was both. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know what? We should almost try it again. Not we don't have to like record the whole thing, but I sh- I would like to go through it thinking only about you and me, mm. and then again thinking oh, yeah, to only see how different about it was. Yeah, lifestyle related. Yeah, that's true. Because sometimes. Like the sensuality and the loving and appreciating yeah. each other and all that stuff. I do feel that with you, of mm-hmm. course. But like sometimes you're just kind of messing around with somebody in a lifestyle related thing. Right. I am certainly not saying you can't have feelings that are beyond the messing around with yeah. people in lifestyle. Of course you can. People have long term couple relationships. That's all very fine and great. Mm-hmm. But I also think for us, at least, yeah. we have made room for pretty much just sexual encounters <laughs> with some people yeah. sometimes. Totally. And so, no, like the sort of sacredness of your union is not really high on my list in that type right. of interaction. No. So maybe that's sort of, yeah, we, yeah. we have a lot of stuff on our sort of yeah. sexual it does feel like, i guess maybe life. your shapeshifter makes more sense because you're answering like as a encompassing everything yeah so it does kind of lend to that shapeshifter thing a little yeah. bit more it's true i don't know it's interesting i'd be interested to see if what our listeners got um from this yeah. like if you do this quiz um if you just get higher than whatever you yeah. 90% kink or whatever yeah. you were. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You had 90%. <laughs> just kidding. I know. I'm just teasing 1% I- energetic. It's yeah. just funny because it makes it sound like you don't want to move. Yeah. But you want like the kinkiest shit I want done the to dirty you. stuff done to me, but I'm not moving. <laughs> That's yeah. right. But like make it really dirty. Yeah, like 90% <laughs> dirty. Yeah. It's just very funny. Um, I'll put the link to this in like the, on the website. Right. And in, in the no, show notes for the podcast. Cool. Yeah. Well, this was fun. This was. This, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's it's cool. I like yeah. doing stuff like this. Me too. It's very um. Sort of vulnerable feeling, but not not in a bad way, but just in yeah. a very like. Well, the categories are broad enough of... so that they're not like embarrassing if you get one. Where sure. It's like sure, but still, it's it's yeah. just very. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Totally. It's interesting. Well, this was fun, Margo. Awesome. So there you go. Yeah. There and you we go. Can, and we can say things to each other like we have been with the other one, the love languages one. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't say anything <laughs> nice to me anymore. You just look at me and say words of affirmation. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> you. Yeah. And I walk by graze yeah. your crotch area and right. go physical touch. <laughs> and then we're both. Yeah. You'll Happy. just walk by and like pinch me now and you'd be like, you're into that Physical stuff. Physical touch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm just going to slap you really yeah. hard <laughs> and just yell kinky. This is at what you. you voted for, fucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to call you fuck. I still love you. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. That's good. <laughs> it's Monogama. <laughs> <laughs> Monogama. <laughs>